Hey everyone, this is Chris, sometimes known as LOTR Deck Tech, and it has been a hell of a week. Since the last time I posted a video, well, I guess a little more than that, um, and as you can maybe see, my camera settings are a little weird now, the green screen behind me is not behaving as well as it should, I've been sick, and it's been just all around a bit of a nightmare. But I'm back. I'm gonna definitely do this video this week, hopefully a second one on Friday, and then we can just get back into the swing of things. This deck is a silly rosy combo deck, uh, built around the fact that her ability does not specify it has to be a different Hobbit hero. Obviously, it's limit once per phase, so we can't just stack her willpower up to infinity and then, you know, build and build and build, but she can still double buff her willpower. So that's what we're going to try and do, see if we can get just Rosie questing, absolutely crushing it. Uh, we also have Nenya, which allows us to add Galadriel's willpower on top of Rosie's. It's a whole deal, and it's going to be amazing. In order to get that to happen, I am trying a quest that lets me stall, journey along the Anduin. Haven't done my setup, so let's see what we get. Goblin Sniper is not my fave. Uh, in fact, that is real bad, because I don't actually have any healing in this deck right now. Uh, that might be a problem. But we shall see what we can do. That was my first opening hand, and I am entirely okay with it, so let's go. Uh, Galadriel drops my threat, draws me a card. Sure, I'll play that one for free. Spend one, two for a Galadriel's Handmaiden, drops my threat by one again. Uh, we have Rosie, which is great, and some other stuff that I can't really do anything with right now, so we're just going to quest for six. Uh, and we're going to target double back. There's three in the staging area. So we get a two. Total five means I make one progress. All right, that's not super helpful. And the Goblin Sniper is going to plink a damage on to Galadriel. So, on to the next round. Well, that's relatively useful, but first things first, here's Rosie. Uh, Galadriel is going to draw me a card, drop my threat. I got one, two for another handmaiden, dropping my threat again. So let's quest three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Targeting double back. Uh, Theoded's resource is going to go on himself. Pretty sure I forgot last round, but that's okay. All right, uh, this treachery does absolutely nothing. So I make five progress, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Adds this to the victory display, drops my threat down to 18. Goblin Sniper is gonna put one point of damage on Theodrid. And I guess I'm just hoping for Gandalf so I can kill it and not have to deal with it anymore. On to the next round, magically in secrecy. Uh, oh, this is good. Uh, I'm gonna cycle Elven Light with Arwen. There we go, that's a card I wanted. Uh, and Galadriel is gonna drop my threat and draw me another card. I need one of my lore songs. Oh well, I'll get that soon enough. And we quest. Uh, I'm gonna send four, five, six. Uh, no, let's send. Uh, all right, first things first. Going to sneak in Gandalf. Killing the Goblin Sniper. And then I'm going to send three, four, eight to the quest. Alright, five against us. One, two, three. Uh, Thayjid Resource goes on himself again. Uh, we want to play Faramir relatively soon. Gandalf comes back into my hand after the quest phase. Forced to engage these Misty Mountain Goblins. Uh, that kind of sucks, but that's okay. Um, hmm. I don't think I can take this undefended right now, so let's just defend with a handmaiden. 
Well, I could have taken it undefended, but that's okay. Uh, removes one progress token. And we're on to the next round. There's a good card. Uh, Galadriel is going to drop my threat. Draw a card. Okay. Mm uh, let me take one of these. Play a Song of Wisdom on Arwen. This is a bit of a bummer. It costs us one eventual song from Rosie, but that's okay. Uh, now I can play Darren's Runes. Draw two. Discard Elven Light. Um, I did this wrong. I should have paid for that with the resource off of Galadriel. So let's just swap it around. Uh, I will Darren's Runes again. One, two. Uh, discard this Guardian of Rivendell. One, two. Uh, save one. Let's fast hitch on Rosie. Uh, I might as well get my Elven Light back. Slightly the wrong order, but that's okay. Uh, I can cycle Elven Light to draw one more card. That's a fun one. Uh, yeah, let me spend one, put Nenya on Galadriel. And I think we're in good shape from here. Uh, I'm going to leave Arwen standing this time. So we're going to quest. One, two, three, four, five. And I can make it seven if I want to. Eastern Crows into Evil Storm, which definitely does nothing right now. Up against four, I will make one progress. Um, an exhaust Rosie to boost. No, nope, can't do that yet. Yeah, just one progress. It's fine. Misty Mountain Goblins is going to attack, which Arwen will defend. Glad to see Necromancer's Reach out of the encounter deck. Uh, and yeah, we're in pretty good shape right now. We have entirely stalled. So we're on to the next round. Uh, let's exhaust Galadriel to draw a card and drop my threat. I will cycle Oven Light to draw another card. Play Darren's Runes to draw two and discard. Oof. Let's drop a Handmaiden. They're not that useful, especially since my threat is so low. Uh, Elrond's Council, I'm going to save for now because it's another ridiculous rosy boosting piece. One, two, three, four. Allows me to play Farmir. I think I'll spend one to put another fast hitch on Rosie. Uh, if we get enough of them, we can use her ridiculous stats twice in a round, which is good. All right, and I will quest. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put the resource on Theodred. Okay, uh, one, two. That's really not bad at all. My eight up against four is one, two, three, four progress. Misty Mountain Goblins is going to attack, which Aramir will defend. And there's another Necromancer's Reach gone. I like it. Uh, we remove one of these progress, and we move on to the next round. That is a good one. Uh, let me exhaust Galadriel to drop my threat and draw a card. I will cycle Elven Light to draw a card. Might as well spend one of these for fast hitch number three. Oh, we're so close. One, two, three, four. Play out a tree beard. Uh, I will give Theodred his resource for the sneak attack Gandalf possibility. And we'll see. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, committed to the quest. 
again. Here is a wargs. So we're looking at two, three, four, five, six. I make two progress. I am forced to engage the wargs. Shadow, shadow. At this point, I will sneak attack. Put Gandalf into play. Dealing one, two, three, four damage to the wargs because I just don't want to deal with that. We will defend the Misty Mountain Goblins. Which ends up removing two progress tokens. And Gandalf can kill the goblins. Gandalf comes back to my hand at the end of the combat phase. And moving on again. Uh, Gladriel exhausts to drop my threat and draw a card. Oh, there's 19 left. <laughs> I need to get there soon. Otherwise, this is just going to be a little silly. Uh, might as well spend one of these for a Galadrum Weaver to shuffle this sneak attack back in. Uh, getting a sneak attack back in there is probably worth it, even though I don't have the sword thing yet. Uh, and I think I'm mostly going to save resources for a bit. So let's cycle on Elven Light. Extra Rosie is useless. And we quest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Necromancers pass. All right, three, four, five, six, seven. I make two progress. I will optionally engage the Eastern Crows. Defend with Faramir. Glad to see that gone too. And kill them with Treebeard, shuffling them back into the deck. So, moving on again. This is round eight, by the way. Uh, Galadriel will drop my threat and draw a card. I will cycle another Elven Light. There's one. Uh, one, two, three, four. Sword Thane on Rosie. So now we can start the shenanigans. Uh, Treebeard should have an extra resource. Uh, one, two is a Fireside Song. So now Rosie is three willpower. I can play Song of Hope on her. Meaning she is four willpower. Um, and I'm gonna save all my crazy boosts for next round because I have what one, two, three, four, five songs that I can play. It's gonna be good. So questing: three, four, five, six, ten, eleven. We are almost certainly going to make the progress we need here. A goblin sniper. All right, two, five, six, seven, eight, three progress, one, two, three. Hmm, I will take Doggled or Beastmaster. Uh, Treebeard will defend this attack with two shadows, neither of which does anything. And Rosie is going to <laughs> Oh, am I short? I'm short, no! All right, well, here's part of the shenanigans then. Play an Elrond's Council, making Rosie's willpower five. Exhaust Rosie to add her willpower to her attack. Ready her with fast hitch, and then five attack Rosie plus Faramir is enough to kill the Dogolder Beastmaster. My threat is back down to 17. Uh, I have to take one point of damage from this Goblin Sniper, which I will put on Faramir for now. So, next round. That card is useless, but that's okay. Uh, Thedrid should have one more of these from his ability last round, because I want to do one, two, three, four, five to play one, two, Three, four, five songs on Rosie. Making her willpower now a permanent nine. Uh, Rosie's gonna one-shot the hill troll, by the way. I think that's what we're gonna do this round, in fact. So, questing, there is six against us, so three, four, five, six, 
Uh, seven. Sixteen? Sure. Casual sixteen committed to the quest with Rosie. Gladden Field. <laughs> it means up against nine, so we only make seven progress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to optionally engage the Hill Troll. Deal him a shadow card. Treebeard will defend. Okay, Treebeard takes three damage. Oh no, Nenya is only a quest action. Oh, that's so disappointing. <laughs> uh, all right, well, you'll have to pretend that Rosie one-shot the Hill Troll because she's quite close. I could have done it next round, I think. Uh, so we'll play Elrond's Council, make Rosie's willpower 10, drop my threat to 15. She is going to boost herself so that now she has 10 attack. And with Treebeard's four, we absolutely destroy the Hill Troll. On to stage two. Um, and I should have traveled to Gladden Fields because one extra point of threat is not a problem for me right now. Well, and I still have to take one damage from this Goblin Sniper, so Faramir, I guess it's your go. And we are on to round number 10. 10 is not a bad round. Rosie gets a resource. Uh, Treebeard gets a resource. I can't play Gandalf right now. Uh, let me Galadriel to drop threat and draw a card. I will... Actually, you know what? Let's drop a Rosie to get a resource. One, two, three, four, five. Pops a Gandalf into play. Um, yeah, let's just kill this Goblin Sniper. The, the damage every round is annoying. And we will quest! Three, four... Uh, Thirteen? Ready. Twenty-two? And Theodred's going to put the resource on himself. Oh, my threat is one higher because I forgot to do this. All right, my 22, most of which is Rosie. Up against... Nothing and a Dolgulder Orcs. All right. Theodred can take two damage, that's fine. So, up against five. 22... Oh, is that 17 progress? So let's just trigger Faramir to make it 18, 19, 20. Which is enough to get us past stage two in one round. On to stage three. Ugh, oh, wargs. It's fine. I'm not even going to travel to Brownlands because I don't need to. Uh, let me ready Rosie. <laughs> and I have to deal with... Well, let's see. I can optionally engage the wargs. Force to defend dog, alter, orcs, shadow, shadow. Yeah, Galadriel's handmaiden. You can be thrown to the wolves. Go back in the staging area. Uh, Gandalf might as well defend Dog Alder Orcs. Rosie boosts her attack, absolutely crushes some orcs, because it's time for the Hobbit women to take their revenge. And we move on to round 11, I think. Uh, Gandalf goes away. Yep, it's 11. Uh, Galadriel. Nah, let's not drop my threat with Galadriel. Uh, I'm going to cycle an Elven Light to draw a card. Treebeard should have one, Rosie should have one. Let's just Rosie quest for a million right now. Alright, Galadriel and Nenya are going to make Rosie a 13 willpower character. She is going to spend a resource with Song of Hope to become a 14 willpower character. And she will quest and boost her ability so that we are currently questing for 28. 
Uh, we don't stage, so up against 10 means I make 18 progress. I will optionally engage the wargs. Uh, defend with Treebeard. No shadow effect, so they are back on the shores. And I move on to the next round. I'm actually entirely okay with this. I think it's funny. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing again. Except I'm going to use Elrond's Council. Uh, we're going to use the Nenya boost. The Song of Hope boost and Elrond's Council to make Rosie a 15 willpower character. Commit her to the quest and boost herself. So, casual 30 willpower off of Rosie. We're still not staging, so that's 20 progress. Putting us to 38 of the zero that we need. I could travel to Brownlands in order to make more extraneous progress, but this is much more fun. Optionally engage the wargs. Defend with Treebeard. They get a shadow! Alright, Treebeard takes one point of damage. I'm gonna ready Rosie. I'm going to boost her attack to nine. Ready her. And then Rosie swings and destroys the wargs. Rosie's a little ridiculous, you guys. Um, sure, it took an entire deck to get there, and I need to be playing a quest that is not going to punish me. Uh, but we just attacked for nine and quested for 30 with Rosie. Just Rosie. Well, I guess, and Nenya, but close enough. All right, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.